Hello, my beautiful Leo friends and all cross watchers. Everyone's welcome. My name is Donna. Welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. We have a thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions reading for you, Leo. And we're looking here at the clarifiers. We have the Queen of Wands, your person thinks of you as hot, as sexy, as someone who is a great business person, someone who's a lot of fun, very much boss energy, very much large in charge and very, very happy, exciting and fun. They see you as super sexy and they want a new beginning with you. So Leo, when they think of you, they think of you as a person with whom they can live happily ever after. That is a 10 of cups card, Pisces energy. Um, but what we see here is we get the Seven of Swords. They would do anything, including being less than forthright in terms of trying to win your heart. So we see this beautiful energy, but when we get the Seven of Swords, we get somebody who's a little sneaky, you know, somebody, it might be a secret affair, it might be something that isn't well known to the public. This person wants to give up the burdens, though, that they've been carrying in terms of juggling two people. So when we look at their overall energy for the reading, we see a person who's coming in with divine matrix energy. They really do have something to learn. They have a, a puzzle to figure out in terms of how to have this relationship with you. They do see the possibility for union and they want it. Ten of Cups, that is the energy that they want with you. They see you as someone with whom they need to have a lot of clarity. They need to organize the relationship differently than it has been organized. We see sacred contract. They definitely feel as though they need to come to the table and fully disclose uh, whatever it is that they want to do with you. They know that they have a soul contract with you. We can see the soulmate card right there with the two of cups. In terms of their feelings, your person is trying to heal. Um, it looks as though they've done something in this relationship to upset you. They've done something to hurt you with the five and seven of swords. They do want to come back in with this reconciliation energy, and they want to show you that they can really give to you. In their heart space, they want to show love by giving you some sort of tangible gift or support of some sort. The heart of pentacles, they want to nurture you. They show their love for you by uh, nurturing you, giving you things, providing security for you. That is the Queen of Pentacles energy. They want, they feel as though you are their best friend and lover, their soulmate. They want to move in with you. They want to leave something else behind. The Magician energy speaks to the chemistry, the elegance, the excitement. They are manifesting you. They have the tools to manifest you. They feel as though you have everything that they could possibly want. Magus the Healer says that they want to heal the wrongs that they've involved themselves in with you. They want to tidy things up. They definitely want to show you, you know, and give very much to you. In terms of their intentions, we see your person wanting to come in and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The strength card, they have the courage and the desire to do it. That's the infinity symbol. They want to be with you forever. The Four of Swords also says that they intend to try to heal the wounds that have happened by showing their investment in the relationship. They see themselves needing to invest more than you have to prove themselves. The Eight of Coins is getting to know all about you, mastering the relationship. The Nine of Cups is the fairy godmother of the Zodiac. They plan on giving you a great deal. They plan on seducing you um, with happiness, laughter, fun, security, whatever they need to do to get you even if it's not totally honest, they're willing to do whatever it takes. I don't always like that energy. I think it's um, not obviously spiritually where they need to be. And that's what we see in the outcome and action row for you. We get your person here in this energy. 
um, with the Four of Wands. They want to own a home with you. They want to marry you, marry you, marry you, <laughs> work with you, manifest with you. They want to manifest living together, being married, buying a home together, building a foundation. But the Tower card brought it down. So it really speaks to the fact that the relationship has to be rebuilt and they are definitely in it to win it, win it intentionally. We get the Six of Cups card. The Six of Cups is a reunion with someone from the past and they want to coax you to bring you back into this relationship for the chance that, that you might choose them. They put you in a third party situation by juggling. They were dishonest with you at some point in the relationship and now they just want to make things better. They have decided that you are the one for them and that they are willing to leave another situation. When I pulled out the tower card earlier to clarify it, I had some bad audio in the other video, so I apologize. I had to redo the audio portion, but it really speaks to the fact that in building this, rebuilding the tower, they have to leave another situation in which they juggled someone, they put you in a third party, they were dishonest about it, they took advantage of you while they were getting to know you, and we see them needing to file for divorce. That is their intention and their action. And to close out a whole cycle with another person to put an end to it and level up with you. They are not to be deterred, Leo, but they have a lot to learn. They're going to uh, hit some hit some bumps in the road here very clearly because you are so strong and so magnificent and you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They're going to have to level up to your level, Leo. So that's a reading I have for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and leave a comment. I would love to hear whatever your story is and I answer all the comments. Hope to see you soon in another video, Leo. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.